Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our first SQL Server Quickie. My name is Klaus Aschenbrenner and today I will talk about databases in SQL Server. As you already might know, all the data that we are storing inside the SQL Server database is stored in so-called databases. A database in SQL Server is always 8 kilobytes large and in this SQL Server Quickie I will show you how you can dump out and analyze such data pages. Before we go to SQL Server Management Studio, I want to show you very, very quickly how a data page looks like in SQL Server. As I've already mentioned, a data page in SQL Server is always a storage unit of 8 kilobyte. A page in SQL Server always consists of three parts. The first part is the so-called page header and the page header in SQL Server is always 96 bytes long. Directly after the page header the payload part follows and the payload is the part where SQL Server stores all our records. And finally at the end of our data page, SQL Server stores the so-called row offset array. Inside the row offset array, SQL Server stores for each record the location where the corresponding record is physically stored on top of our data page. For each record, we need two bytes inside that row offset array and that two byte long pointer points to the corresponding location where our record is stored inside our data page. Okay, so with that information in our hand, we will go now to SQL Server Management Studio and I will show you how you can dump out pages and analyze those pages within SQL Server Management Studio. After you are now familiar with a data page in SQL Server, I will show you now how you can analyze and dump out those data pages. So the first step, I'm creating a simple database called internal storage format and inside that database I'm creating a new table called customers. As you can see from the table definition, we're just using fixed length data types like character, integer and date time. The next step, I'm inserting two records. I'm using here the go do statement, which just executes that batch two times. In the next step, we have to enable trace flag 3604. We have to enable that trace flag because afterwards we are using uh, TPCC, the TPCC page command and that command only returns you an output to SQL Server Management Studio when that trace flag 3604 is enabled. So we enable that trace flag. In the next step we have to find out uh, which data pages are belonging to our data. For that we are using the dbcc int command. dbcc int stands for dbcc index and it returns for a specific table inside a specific database all the pages which are belonging to that table. As you can see here from the output, our table customers has two pages. One page is the so-called index allocation map page, IM page. It has always the page type then, and the second page with the page ID 73 and the page type 1, that is our data page. To dump out the data page, we can use the dbcc page command. You just supply the name of the database, the file ID, in our case file ID 1, the page ID 73, which you can see from here, and finally a dump option. The dump option just specifies in which format dbcc page returns you the page dump. So when we are executing that statement with the dump option of free, we are getting back our result. The first step we can see our page header 
As I have already said earlier, page header in SQL Server is always 96 files long. And after the page header in slot 0, we have our first record. First record always starts directly after the page header. As I have said, page header has uh, 96 files. So in hexadecimal, the slot 0 always starts at 0x60. Our record has a length of 224 parts, and here you can see the actual parts. When you are using the dump option free, you can also see that SQL Server decodes uh, the column values for us. So you can see the first name, last name, the address, zip code, the rating, and finally the modified date. In slot 1, we have our second record which starts at the hexadecimal offset of 140 and again <coughs> has a length of 224 bytes. So again, again you can see the hexadecimal output, you can see the first name, last name, address, zip code, waiting and modified date. What we can also do is the following. When we are using the dump option 1, and we are executing the dpcc page command again, we can also see at the end of the output the row offset array that I have mentioned earlier. So as you can see, our row offset array contains two entries. The first entry corresponds to our first record, which directly starts after the page header at offset 96 and our second record starts at the offset 320. And finally, when you are using the dump option 2, TPCC page returns you the whole output just as hexadecimal values. So you have to decode, in that case, everything at your own. So in my case, this is the hardcore mode of DPCC page. I hope uh, you have enjoyed that short introduction to data pages inside SQL Server and I'm looking forward to welcome you to our next SQL Server quickie. Thanks for listening!